What's up, guys? It is pretty late here in Miami, and man, I've, it's one of those nights where I'm sitting here thinking about the week, writing down goals, and I have so much good energy. Just, it's a weird feeling. It's like electric. It's like I'm full of electricity or something. So I literally just turned the camera on, and I'm going to talk to you guys. The topic I'm going to talk about is how to be a winner, and that's a very broad, vague term, but it's still very important. And if you're watching this, and you are a young kid, or you're broke, or you're lost, or maybe you're even successful, but you still are, are kind of lacking some things. I want to give you guys whatever wisdom that I can give you as 22 year old who's gone from literally nothing in life to doing pretty well so far. So let's jump into it. The problem with you guys today is you have too many options. You have a plan B and a plan C and a plan D and a, uh, well, if this doesn't work, I'll do this. Or, oh wait, if if this job doesn't work out, I live with my parents anyway, or or whatever your backup plan is. You have too many options. And your, your human brain is one of which if you have too many options or you have a safety net, it always resorts to that safety net, which is why you've heard the saying, don't have a plan B. There's a reason for that. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Luke Alexander. When I was 18 years old, I had zero safety net, literally zero. I moved to college to get internet access. I had a laptop that I bought with graduation party money. It was like $800 as all the money I had. I spent it on a laptop and I moved to college to get internet. I had some scholarship money, not like in my bank account, but just paying for college. I had a meal plan for that first semester and that was it. And I decided after going to school for a semester to leave and to drop out. And did I have a backup plan? No. I left my dorm. I dropped out. I put everything I had in the shitty old uh, Cadillac that I had at the time that actually blew up on me. And I drove across the street because as far as I get the car, because it had literally blown up. Um, and I drove across the street and I made a deal with this apartment complex to let me stay in a unit for $500 a month under the condition that I cleaned it up because it had flooded and there was like a lot of damage and drywall and stuff. And, and obviously I did construction in high school. So I, I knew what I was doing. No backup plan. I moved into that with my last $500. And if I did not close a client, which I did, uh, there's there's actually a video of it on my on my YouTube, like one of my first videos ever, I would have been homeless. And it sounds really absurd. And I'm not telling you guys to do this, but I literally convinced myself over that 30 day period, it was May 1st, I had to pay rent on May 31st. If I didn't get a client and get enough money to pay my rent, I, I wasn't going to be homeless and I wasn't going to move home. I was literally just going to be done with life. And you can, I'm not going to say those words on YouTube because uh, it get flagged, but you can understand what I'm saying by doing that. I'm dead serious. Like, like I'm trying to look at the camera and, and like, I'm looking you guys in the eyes. I'm hundred percent serious. I had zero doubt that I was not going to do that. And I had convinced myself. So you can imagine I was super stressed out for those 30 days. I, I was crying. I was praying to God. I was like, God, will you please help me? Will you please help me understand how to do this? What do I do? Like, I, I, I don't know anything. I'm, I'm literally some baby who doesn't understand business and I'm trying to do business. And you guys might look at me now and you're like, holy shit. Wow. This kid's killing it, bro. That was three years ago, three years in three years time. I went from, I'm going to end this. If I don't get a client and pay $500 of rent to, I just paid off a $50,000 Amex bill, which is just business expenses for the month. Not even the month. It was the last 15 days. Personal expenses is probably another 15 to 20 to 25 to maybe even 30. Cause we've gone out a lot this month, three years. And I'm telling you guys, I won't tell you how much money I make, but if, if I'm paying that monthly, you can guess uh, reasonably what I'm making a month, right? 22 years years old, G-Wagon paid for myself, not least. I own the car. My mom moved to Miami. Like you can, you can do the math and understand. And I'm not telling you that to brag, but I'm telling you guys that so that you understand how quickly things can change. Three years. So imagine where you're at right now. Maybe you're 20, maybe you're 18 years old, maybe you're 28 for fuck's sake. Like it, it doesn't matter. And you're like, damn, I hate my life. I hate my life. Okay. Can you really, really, really suffer for the next three years and sacrifice and do what you actually know you need to do and invest in what you need to invest in? If you need to buy coaching, go buy coaching need to buy a course, go buy a course, right? Stop making fucking excuses of, oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, I don't have enough time. Like, sh like literally I'm trying not to get like, like mad on camera. This makes me so mad. Shut the fuck up with your excuses. Okay. If I can come from getting beat on as a kid and my dad, like terrorizing my life, like I'm talking not like, oh, I was poor. I'm talking, I, we got beat on and like damn near like tortured. It was fucking awful from the time I was like, even remember being a kid, like three, four years old and until like 13 when my dad was removed from my house by fucking police. Okay. I came from that. Not only that, but we were broke the whole time. My dad took out mortgages on our house to go buy fishing stuff and boats. We had no money. My mom didn't work. She stayed home to take care of us. Obviously she had two sons. My dad 
didn't make any money. He was fucking lazy. So I'm getting beat on. My life is hell. I'm constantly told every single day that I'm nothing. I'm worthless. I'm stupid. I'm weak. I'm all these things. And on top of that, we're on welfare and we're fucking broke. And three years later, if you want to call it from, from 18, three years later, I'm sitting in a penthouse in Miami with a G-Wagon in the garage. My mom is down here. My mom's good. My friend's good. If they need money, they're good. My brother, if he needs money, they're good. My whole family, which is literally my mom and my brother, I, I don't really have any other family, is good. They're taken care of. Because I looked at myself in the mirror and through a lot of legitimate critical thinking was like, okay, I don't want to do this. I, I do not want to live like this anymore. I'm sick of being poor. I'm sick of having nothing. I'm sick of being nobody. I'm sick of my mom struggling and crying. Like I'm I'm sick of it. And what I'm saying to you guys is, is you're not fed up enough. Like, oh, I, I hate my life. You want to bitch about your job and you want to bitch about this and that and whatever, but you don't do anything about it. And if that's the case, you really don't care because I'm telling you from personal experience, if you're really fed up with something, you will risk your life to make it happen or to change it. And a lot of you are not doing that. So if you're watching this video and you're not where you want to be, you're either one of two things. You're lying to yourself or your own crippling fear of doing anything is holding you back from a life that you could never even have dreamed of, right? So that's a rant, but how do you, how do you be a winner? I want to give you guys like actual concrete steps and plans. Number one, you have to be educated. You have to educate yourself. We live in a legitimately, you've heard a lot of people say this, a matrix. It is fake. Nothing is real. Money is not real. The Federal Reserve is not even owned by the government. The people that make the money for our country, which is the government, which is you're taxed upon when you make it, isn't owned by the government. It's owned by families who own the government. So if you think we live in a democracy and we're, we're a free world and all this stuff, educate yourself on that first. But secondly, educate yourself on skills. I don't care what certification you have. I don't care what background you have. I don't care what degree you have. I don't care where you went to college. I don't care who your mommy and daddy are. If you have no skills and you cannot produce and perform and provide and create, then you are fucking worthless. You are worthless. You will never, ever, ever make millions in your life. Okay. The reason I've been able to make millions is because I am smarter, not smarter like intelligence wise, but smarter in decision making and execution than 99% of people my age. If there is a competitor of mine in business, I fucking destroy them because they cannot compete. They cannot compete with my tenacity. They cannot compete with my mentality. They cannot compete with my work ethic and they cannot compete with how smart and how willing to do whatever it takes we are to hit our goals and to hit what we want. And a lot of you, you can't say that about yourselves. And I'm not, I'm not trying to just shit on you guys. I can only tell you from personal experience. I'm not, I'm not a LARPing like guru. It's going to tell you stuff I've never done. For me to be successful, I had to get really, really, really mad all the time and channel that rage into bettering myself and performing. That was hundred percent. And I remember in college, right? I'm in my dorm. I partied a little bit just to get social skills, meet people. And I never partied in high school because I was straight survival mode, but I'm in my dorm at like 3 a.m. every night because I drank so much caffeine. I lifted at like 12 or one in the morning because the gym was open all the time. Nobody else is outside. Everyone else is in bed or they're at a party. I'm in my dorm. I'm lifting. I go back to my dorm. I'm on my laptop and all I'm doing is learning about business, e-com, marketing, copywriting, drop shipping, Amazon FBA, affiliate mark, like everything you have ever heard of, agencies, everything. I know how every single one of these things work. And it's because I spent a year of every single hour that I had available to me learning everything. That's it. So a lot of you guys, like, obviously I teach sales. I think sales is the greatest thing that you watching this could get into. I think it's the best first starting point for you in business. I think it is the single best option that you have at your disposal, right? If you don't want to do sales, that's fine. But that's why I built an entire company around sales. That's why I changed my life. That's why I've gotten where I'm at, right? But even sales, a lot of you buy my fucking program and you're like, hey, dude, I, I want it. I want this. I want this. No, you don't. You're not working hard enough to get the results that you want to have. Like if, if my goals are up here and my work ethic is down here, it will never happen. It doesn't work like that. You have to match or exceed your goals and your desire with the amount of work ethic, leverage, and intelligence that you're putting into your goals. And a lot of you are not doing that. Even if you buy a course, it's like, okay, like I just talked to a guy today, right? He bought our course. He bought our program, which is life coaching. It's a course. It's a bunch of stuff. It's it's amazing. I've spent a ton of time working on this. And the dude literally hasn't even logged in and watched the videos and was complaining to me about not like succeeding. And I was like, yo, like, have you watched these videos? Because he's asking questions that were like, obviously, answered. He's like, oh no, I haven't. Like, what the fuck do you expect to happen? <laughs> um, you're not, you're not using your brain. Like you're, and, and this guys, this is not an intelligence thing because some people are born smarter than others, right? Or, or the way you're raised, or if your parents had you read as a kid, all these things matter. This common sense that anyone can do. Everyone has this ability and like 99% of people don't want to do it. And I'm super lucky to have the friend group that I have right now because they're all similar to me, but like we, we go to like a college party or we go to 
to a college bar and listen to them talk and the way that these people speak and communicate, it, it's like we're two different species. I really don't want to sound bad, but guys, the average person is so fucked up in our world and in our country. Like we have no hope of anything. So it's on you to decide if you want to be like that or if you want to be like me and my friends and all the cool people you see online like Tate and my friend E-Man and my friend Seb and Jordan Welch, all these guys, they're G's, right? Super cool guys. They think differently than you. They work harder than you. They take more risk than you. They're willing to do literally whatever it takes to succeed. And if you are not, you will never reach that level of success. So stop posting cars and bottles and all the shit that you want to have. And oh, I'm going to do this and saying you're going to do this when you're not putting in the work ethic to get there or you're not doing what it takes to get there. You're, you're wasting your time and it's mental masturbation. You're literally spiking your own dopamine and you're not going to get anything done. And unless you're willing to sacrifice like this whole, this whole rant, this whole video is about how to be a winner, right? Winners sacrifice more than anybody else. I have sacrificed so much in the last three years that I won't get back, but I understand I'm 22 right now. By the time I'm 25, I am good for life. I'll still play the game just because I, I love this and I have like mental issues, but I'm going to be good for life. Okay. A lot of you don't want to make that sacrifice or you're scared of the work right now. But then by the time you're 25 and that comes around, what have you done? Like, okay, you jerked off for five years and you slept in a shitty apartment and worked at a shitty job and fucked shitty girls. Like, what did you get done with your life, bro? Nothing at all. You didn't get to the point where you can then pull off the gas if you want. It, like life isn't like that. You have to sacrifice here so you can live here. You can't just live here and then expect for that to last forever. It doesn't work. Like one summer of you going and being an idiot will fuck up three years of progress in your early 20s. Like if I spent this summer, this next summer doing nothing but fucking off in Europe and buying bottles and yachts and riding around on ATVs and whatever. Okay, cool. It'll be fun. And I am going to take a lot of trips. I obviously need it for content and it helps the companies, but I'm going to get lapped by everyone I'm competing with. They will destroy me. They will take my market share. They will take my customers. They will rip my offers. They will improve on their marketing. My marketing will suffer and they will literally take food out of my family's mouth. And you guys are not thinking about business like this. And you're not thinking about life like this. It is cutthroat. It is not this, this playful, like fuck around. The guys I know at the highest level are cutthroat. A guy I have a lot of respect for, Luca Nets, really good friend. He's a great guy. I've hung out with him several, several, several times, basketball, yachts, whatever. Got a ton of respect for Luca. He's one of those guys that I actually look up for. He is fucking ruthless. He's, he's goofy, like funny personality, but when it's business, a switch flips in that kid's mind and I've seen it and he's ruthless. Like it doesn't matter. It's business black and white. Yes. No, you're in, you're out. This deal's good. This deal's not good. Like there is no like half ass, half committed bullshit. It is. I am all the way in. I'm doing whatever it takes to get what I want to happen um, or get what I want done. And if you're not like that, how are you going to compete with us? You can't, you cannot compete with me. Like, look, if you're watching this video, I know this is a fucking rant. Look yourself in the mirror critically and ask yourself, can I beat Luke in business right now? Can I beat Luke in fighting? Can I take his girl? Can, like whatever else is important to you, right? Like, I, like these are just things that pop in my mind. If you can't, you got to get to work, bro. You got to get to work. And let's say you do get to work. I'm still working. I'm still going to improve. And I'm not saying it's me and you versus each other, right? But I'm, I'm trying to help you guys understand this is how you have to think about business and life and chasing your goals and knocking these things off of your checklist. Because if not, and you take a lackadaisical half-ass approach to business and life, you're going to get run over and you're going to get eaten alive. And then you're going to look back and be like, fuck, I messed up. Like you don't get time back. You you have a certain amount of time. That's it. Like these, this year flew by so fast. Guys, this year started off December 22nd, my grandpa died. So I'm like getting ready for Christmas. I'm all excited. I have my family fly down here for Christmas. My apartment's decorated. My mom calls me, hey, uh, your papa died. That fucking sucks, right? Like that's that's hard, you know? Like I that's somebody who raised me, was a big part of my life, someone I loved very much, and I can't show them anything that I've done, you know? Like I, I bought a Corvette, I FaceTimed him, I bought it in September. I, he's a big car guy, he had a body shop. I FaceTimed him, he's like, oh, it's so cool. He was telling all of his friends and his brothers and, and everybody he was gonna come down here um, and he was gonna see it. And he was, we were, I was trying to get him to fly down and come see the car. He dies, 69, heart attack, gone. I can't show him anything. I can't show him the G-Wagon. He, he's never even seen a G-Wagon. He was an old car guy. I couldn't show him the Corvette. I could never take him for a ride in it. I can never take him on vacation. I can never buy him anything. I can never do anything that I always dreamed of doing for him as a kid, right? Luckily, I have my mom. My mom's my whole world. If something happens to my mom, dude, I I literally have nothing. Like I, it is my brother and I, if something happens to my mom. So this stuff is, is in my head, knowing that you have a limited amount of time. Your family's not gonna be here forever. 
dude. Like if, if your parents struggle right now and you're broke and, and, or, or you want to retire them or they work or, or they're sick or whatever, you only have so much time and you waiting is wasting not only your life, but also the life that you could be giving them. My mom was in this moldy ass house in Ohio with no air conditioning, no internet, no anything. We get snow. She couldn't leave her house. It's the worst place ever. And now she's in a safe neighborhood in Miami in a nice ass house and really has no worries. She, she doesn't spend very much money just because that's the way she is, but she is quote unquote retired. She has no worries at all. And that is probably the, the biggest satisfaction I've ever had in my life to date, right? Like if, if I were to die, I would die f knowing that like I gave my mom everything I could at the time that I could. And I feel good. I, you know, I'm fine. I feel good about that. Like I could die right now. Obviously I'd be pissed that I can't reach all these goals and have kids and do everything I want to do, but I'm good. That was my mission when I started off, right? So you guys got to ask yourself realistically, like, what do you want? Who do you want to take care of? Who do you love? Why do you want to do this? What do you desire? Why is this important? How important is it to you? And if you're not asking yourself these questions, it's never going to happen. Like if you, if you don't think about it and put it on paper and execute and create a plan and put it into action and do whatever it takes, it, it will never happen. You know, life is short. Life is precious. We literally are here by some random chance in this fucking simulation or whatever this is. And you got one shot and a lot of you are wasting it and you're, you're wasting it just pleasing your brain with dopamine. Like you're doing nothing all day, but eating food and watching TV and watching sports and just stupid shit that doesn't matter at all. Instead of living an experience and experiencing things that other people cannot do. I think that's the richest thing on earth is having experiences that others cannot have. Guys, this is a rant. I'm, I'm going to leave this pretty raw. I might, I might just post a straight video, not even edit it. I genuinely, everyone that is a fan of me or a subscriber or whatever, guys, I want you to win so badly. And I want the best for you because I know what it's like to have the worst and it sucks. And like, I, I don't cry. Like I, I damn near got emotional making this video, but really think about, watch this over again, take notes, think about it. This is the mindset that it takes to win. This is what winners are like. Any, any great of anything ever, right? Jordan, Tom Brady. I mean, who are, who are great business guys, Steve Jobs, whatever, right? They all have this same mentality and there's a reason for that. So thank you guys. I love you all. Thank you for the support. Channel has been blowing up this year. I really, really want to get this out to as many people as we can. So please, please like this. If you've ever liked the video, like this one, subscribe, comment, share it, repost it, tag me, and I'll actually, fuck it, I'll give $1,000 away. Um, someone that tags me in this. So let's get it out. But guys, watch the video. Don't waste your lives. Please don't waste your lives. They're short. It's precious. You only got one shot. So see you guys on the next video. Peace.